This is the plaintiff, Angela Wing. She says she's been in the daycare business for 15 years, has a signed contract with the defendant for services rendered, and is not paying her the amount she's due. She has since defamed her online, and she is suing this vindictive woman for the state max of $5,000 for her fees and slander. This is the defendant, Eleanor Colanti. She says the plaintiff's daycare smelled of cigarette smoke, and there was no way she was going to expose her five-month-old to that. One day, she came to pick up her baby, and the plaintiff was holding her on her hip in a cloud of smoke, talking to two men drinking beer. No, thank you. She pulled her kid out, and here they are. She's accused of not living up to her financial obligations. All parties, please raise your right hand. You see the computer, please. Litigants have been sworn in. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, okay, Angela Marie Wing. Yes. You are suing on behalf of your business. You do business as Angel Wings. That's great. Daycare. Uh, you are suing Eleanor Calanti. You were a parent with a child at the school for five thousand dollars, six hundred and seventy-five. The three-week cancellation, according to your contract, twenty dollars in late fee, and the rest for slander and defamation of character because she trashed you on the internet. Tell me what happened. Well, Your Honor, she came to me in January with her three-month-old baby. We had an interview. She signed a contract and left a week's deposit. She was to begin on uh, two thirteen. I was charging her two hundred and twenty-five dollars a week for full-time infant care. Uh, that was to give her care from 7 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. Monday through Friday, flexible to her needs. Everything seemed fine. I cared for the baby. No problems whatsoever until May 5th. Okay, so for three months you were caring for her. What right. happens on May 5th? May 5th on a Friday, she comes to pick up her daughter at the end of the day and tells me it'll be the baby's last day at the daycare. Does she say why? I then asked why, what's wrong, what, what's going on. And her statement to me is, well, to tell you the truth, I really can't afford you, and my aunt is going to help me care for the baby. Then on another Who's note... Who's taking she, care of the baby now? My best friend's mom. I consider her my aunt. Okay. She so did. You, you did say that to her then? Yes, I okay. did. Okay, go on. Then proceeds to tell me that she wasn't happy about the smoking. I didn't know what she was speaking of, uh, and I asked her, what, what are you talking about? Earlier in the week... She was late picking up her baby. I have another client that takes advantage of extended care where his daughter is there later than the other children and he pays for it. She showed up at about 10 of six. The other parent had just arrived, pulled up, had his business partner with him, parked across the street from my house and they both came up to the driveway. I was in the way back of my yard at the swing set with the girls with the baby in my arms. When I saw them pull up, I started to come towards the driveway to greet them. At the same time, the gentleman that was having a cigarette. What gentleman, which one was it? It was the business partner of the parent. Not the parent? No. And he went onto my porch and went to the furthest point that he could away from me. I stood at the same time she arrived. Well, why is he comfortable smoking on your porch? I wouldn't want somebody well, he smoking wasn't. on my porch. Do you, are you a smoker? I used to be, yes. Are you a smoker now? No. Were you a smoker in March or May? No. Okay, now you have a different rendition of how that happened. Tell me what you say. Um, there were two guys. Both of them were smoking, and I Where walked up. Where were they? They were on the porch, but Angela was standing there with was my daughter. Was she as close as you and I are, or further away? Probably about this distance. Okay. Um, both of and the... And your daughter's there? Yes. Angela okay. had my daughter on her hip, um, standing, talking to these men. From that distance, from the distance you and I are? Yeah, but clouds of smoke, billowing, um... Also, both of them were drinking beer. Is that all you mentioned to her that night? That night, yes. Okay. What, um, she asked you to pay the money, and at first, did she say, yes, I'm going to pay it? She did, and she's, I have an end of contract. Okay. Uh, which is when the week's notice is given, the reason for ending the care, and any money And did money she say that there it, that everything smells like cigarettes and you're a chimney? Unable to afford, unhappy about smoking. Secondary. Oh, she did say it in there. Okay. Unable to afford and unhappy with smoking. Balance due, 450 to be paid. 
five, 12 to fulfill two weeks. No, so it's not three weeks, it's two weeks? It is, Your Honor. Um, at the beginning of the year, I changed my policy and went to a three week notice. Yeah, but do you have anything where she agrees? I do, I have the contract oh, that she signed. Oh, let me see the contract. And there's text messages So you were giving us. her a break. I was giving break. her a break. Did you read your contract and realize she was giving you a break and then giving you only? I did. Unfortunately, you know, I'm a single mother and I can't afford two daycares at the same time. But you had said you'd come and pay the following Friday. Why didn't you? Because honestly, my daughter came home with burns on her arm, um, which is a whole other aspect to this wait, case. Wait, 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 wait. When did your daughter come home with burns on her arm? So this was April 3rd. Um, so she came home with a burn on her arm. That's why I brought my mother. She come on picked up, her Mom. up that day. Come on up. What happened that day? Uh, I was picking it up early from daycare that day, as I had done on a few occasions. Uh, so when I arrived, this one was hurrying to put her jacket on her arm. Um, we get to my house to change her diaper and everything, and she has, um, I forget which arm, na uh, nasty, all bright red, what looked to me like the head of a cigarette that had flown off in the wind, burn on her arm. So, so you called the authorities, right? Well, I called the, I mean, I called the state. I no. just wanted to get You violent. called the state two months later when she was insisting on a breakup fee. I, you called the authorities in April, right? I did not. Oh, your daughter was burned and you did not call the authorities in April. You do not tell her anything in April. You do not yank your daughter out in April. And you yank your daughter out for unable to afford and unhappy with two guys smoking on a porch. But you don't mention Burns? And then you went online and trashed her, right? Let's read it. Show me what she wrote online. Mom, did you call the authorities? No, she did mention it to Angela the next day. No, and really? Because she says she didn't. I did. I'm sorry. I that did mention it the next morning, mm -hmm. and Angela mm -hmm. had no explanation for it in mm -hmm. the morning. Mm -hmm. Angela, she mentioned it ever? She did not. No, okay. All in right. the afternoon, okay. she said mm -hmm. that it was probably a scratch and mm. her nails were Did you take a picture of your daughter's burn mark I that did. looked like a cigarette burn? I did. Oh, you did. Let's see the picture. What'd you take the picture for? So if you I weren't going to report it or anything, why did you take the picture? No, 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 please tell. Oh, you have developed pictures. Did you take it on your phone? Yes. Uh, hand me the, the one in the phone. I got you. Sorry. Thank you. So, Eleanor, when I see the date on the picture, what date am I going to see? April 3rd. OK, so let's see it. Come on over here and get that picture again, because when I look at your photos, it only goes, it doesn't go back to April 3rd. Goes back yeah, to Yeah, my phone went through the washing machine, unfortunately. Oh, so I'm sorry. So what was it that you showed me that said April 3rd on it? That, it was a if picture? If you look at, yeah, if you look yeah, at come, the picture. Come on over here and get it up again. So I put it in my favorite so it would be easy to find. So I did, I had sent it to a friend and my phone went through the washing machine and then once the, um, suit came around, she served me papers, I texted my friend to get the picture back. I thought I had lost it. So what did your friend do? How did she send it back to you? She just sent she you back? She texted it, but I guess it keeps the Why did you send it to a friend? To get her input on it. My friend is a nurse. And what did your friend say? Said, it's hard to tell from the picture, but it looks like a burn. And you did nothing? What kind of mother are you that you would see a burn and do nothing and not report her to the authorities? Go back to the lectern. I have no idea if this was taken April 3rd or not. I have no idea if this is her baby's arm. It, I, I think it is because I think that in other pictures I do see, I don't even know. Did she ever bring this up to you? Because this is not. pretty significant. I would have gone to the pediatrician. I would have recommended to her go to the pediatrician. I did the and I showed my pediatrician and he said that the pictures were hard to tell. He couldn't really say. No, I would have brought the baby to the pediatrician. I work for my pediatrician, like so. Should have been easy to have her checked out. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So if a daycare uh, worker or owner says that it's okay for employees to smoke in front of the kids, as a parent, can you yank the kid out and end the contract? Yes, definitely. You're endangering the health of the child with the smoke. Is that right with smoking? Of course. What if legally you could say it's outside in the playground? Can you do it there? No, not even on the playground. You don't know how secondhand smoke works. I think you're right. 
I think you're right, you're right, you're right, going inside the courtroom. So you take to the internet when? Um, I think it was July. And uh, you actually, in the text back and forth, does she threaten you that she's going to file a complaint? She does. Yeah, let me see the text. Uh, May 12th, do you, know, you ask her, do you know what time I'm coming by? I won't be coming by. I spoke with the state licensing office, and they suggested I file a complaint, which I didn't do, but I can if you want to pursue this further. What is there to pursue, she asked, and what did you complain about? Maybe you should review the contract that you signed that spells out the termination requirements. A complaint about smoking around my infant while she was in your care. There's a few violations of state law there. Why don't you mention a complaint because my baby had a burn on her arm? Why isn't that in there? Because it's not, I didn't think that the pictures were very So why are you testifying that it's a burn now? And why you bring your mom in to testify it's a burn? All right, then you take to the internet on what site? Care.com? Care.com. Which is what? It's which like. Which is actually, if you just Google Angel Wings Daycare, comes right up. Okay, and so on 728, she puts in, owner bad with children, not much patience, gave my five month old daughter some pot roast that was sitting on the counter for days. When did that happen? How do you know that happened? Why would you because write she that? She said, I was upset about it. No. Where would you get the notion that the pot roast had been sitting on a counter for days? Because we I was both there every know day. your infant didn't tell you that. So where would you get that idea? That I was there every day and it was sitting in the exact same spot. How do you know that she gave it to your baby? She told me that she did. Did you give her infant daughter five day old pot roast? Absolutely not. Fresh vegetables and fruits is all that's given to any child under six months other than her breast milk or formula. Oh my gosh! Gave my five month old daughter some pot roast that was sitting on the counter for days. So you testify to me today that even though you've never mentioned it, you put, you saw that there was a pot. You saw that the pot was there day after day. You saw that what was in it was pot roast and you just know she gave it to your daughter. Angela told me that she did that day. When I picked her up, she said we had green beans, we had a little pot How roast. How would you know what was in those pots the other days that it was five day old pot roast? Because it was in a baking dish. It was not in a pot. I don't, and I don't know. It was uncovered hunk of for meat. four days that you saw before that. I never saw it covered. You're such a liar. Neither of you thought that was a burner. You would have gone to the authorities. You are liars trying to get out because that's just for mere mortals abiding by contracts. Not for you. You don't have to do that. All right, fine. Now, according to you, you lost four clients. How are you going to prove that? I had got four or five different calls. Can you prove what you're saying? I can show you on my calendar appointments that were made. Um, How are you going to show me that? They didn't hire you over that or versus something exactly. else. Exactly. All I can tell you is I've been in business for 15 years. I, I know, but sometimes people interview baby. you and they don't hire you. That's true. Right. But so how are you going to prove rare. that that's, all right, you know well, what? You, you don't need to prove damage in order to recover. Mm -hmm. It's just that you recover more when you can prove damage. Yep. This is a per se slander, per se, meaning it's false. I find it to be false, and it got said recklessly and carelessly with no regard for your, your reputation. On the internet that right. I cannot now, get removed. Now, let's talk about what you're entitled to. You're entitled to the 675. Where do you get the $20 late fee? Late fee that I've never charged before. Is it in the contract? It is. It is. It and is. You're entitled to the $20 late fee. And um, are you entitled to the difference between that and $5,000 of statutory maximum in slander and defamation? No. But I find that you are entitled to $1,000 for you. the per se slander um, with, and a total judgment in the amount of $1,695. I guess you should have paid the four fifty. dollars Thank you, Ron. Well, the plaintiff prevails for defamation, really. You know, this is a rough day for you in, in this court. Not too good. Not too good is right. What are you thinking right now? I'm just thinking I'm glad my daughter's out of there. Don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, she's in a good place now. Are you sorry you, you went after her on the internet like you did? No, I don't, because that's why we write reviews on the internet, is to let other people know issues that we have. The judge feels it was just slanderous of what you were doing. That's the you way know? I feel. How do you feel? What are you, what are you thinking right now? Well, I'm thinking that I was called a liar. Um, 
However, I told no lies up in front, only told the truth. All Apparently, right. we should have called the police when she came home with that. You we should have. should have done a lot of things yep. differently. Yep. Well, you've learned a lesson. Yep, thank you very have. much. Thank she you must very sign much. some thank documents you. outside here. Here comes Ms. Wang. How are you? Good, thank you. Okay. What are you thinking about all this right now? What's going through I'm your head? I'm glad it's over, and I'm going to try to get my 15-year perfect reputation back on track. I mean, it's funny, watching you in court, you were smiling like you knew you were making points. unbelievable what she did. Yeah. Unbelievable. I've been doing this for 15 years. As you can look now on care.com, you'll see all kinds of fabulous reviews. Right. People still come and bring their kids to say hello to me. Well, good. Congratulations. Thank all you. All right. You must sign some documents. Harvey. Well, Doug, I got to say, for the defendant to lie about Burns, she is lucky that she didn't post that as well, uh, because had she, the plaintiff definitely could have sued for defamation. And that will do it for this case litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.